Well, we can uh, see that the gospel writers um, are generally concerned with chronology, but not strictly concerned with chronology. Luke tells us at the beginning of his work, he writes to Theophilus and says, I'm writing a chronological, he doesn't use that term, but chronological ordered um, you know, ministry of Jesus. But um, what we begin to see is that the gospel writers oftentimes have the same incidents from the ministry of Jesus, but they tell the story a little bit differently in each case. Now, it's very seldom that we get all four Gospels writing on the same thing. The, the uh, feeding of the 5,000 is in all four Gospels. Um, that's an exception. But we can often get two or three Gospels writing about the same incident in uh, Jesus' ministry, but telling the story from a slightly different perspective. And it's kind of like looking at uh, a gem and seeing different facets of it. It's not that if, you know, if they say slightly different ways of, of, if they contain slightly different ways of portraying um, an incident that they are in conflict, but they're giving us different perspectives uh, on that same thing. You would get the same thing if you went on the street and interviewed people uh, who had seen an event they would all tell the story a little bit differently. They're not talking about different events, but they all have a different slant on the same story. Well, the gospel writers are the same way. And, and their slants give us insight into how the Holy Spirit reveals these things from different perspectives to help us grow in our faith in Jesus and see different aspects of his ministry, even within the same account. Uh, so I think it's, it's kind of important sometimes to be able to read, oh, this is in chronological order, and at this point in time, Jesus did this, and it's recorded in all three of the synoptic gospels. But it, all three are slightly different. And then we can begin to compare and contrast what is Matthew trying to tell us that Luke isn't, what is Mark telling us that Matthew leaves out because Mark wants to give us a certain message that Matthew doesn't and that, that Luke doesn't. And so I think those are important things for us to see. And one of the ways to do that is by reading a chronological Bible.